Hey man, Michigan, welcome to Fox 47 Neighborhood News. I'm Larry Wallace and tonight I'm bringing you the news here outside of the city of Lansing's code enforcement office because it brings us to our top story. You all know I'm no stranger when it comes to investigating the red tag issue here in Lansing, but this one I've been looking into today is a little unique. So let me break it down for you. There's a property that's been red tagged for almost three years here in Lansing and neighbors say they're fed up with it because it's had its fair share of trash and even squatters. If you look at all the houses around us and then look at that house, it just makes all of our houses look terrible. Residents say this home on Richard Road isn't the nicest view. It's just an eyesore. The city says the home was red tagged back in December of 2020. And since then, the owner, Haven Homesteads LLC, has racked up nearly $5,000 in fees for trash and other violations. There is a trailer full of God knows what. I mean, it's trash. Like, I don't even know if any of it is salvageable. It's just literally trash. But the problem doesn't stop with the trash. Clarice Pistonis lives right next door, and she says there may also be squatters. For a while, there was um, like a black truck, um, with like a Hispanic guy and a white guy, and then those people disappeared. And then there was um, a lady living in here for a while, and then she disappeared. While in the area, we met Amber, who says she was the home's property manager, but did not want to get on camera. She was also not happy that Clarice called us. I think Nosy Nancy needs to stay in her in her place, in her business. What do you say to the people who say this home has been red tagged for almost three years and the owner hasn't taken any action? I, I say, um, I don't know about it being red tagged for three years. Um, I, I don't believe that myself. Um, the city officials said it. Code enforcement said it. I've never seen any paperwork on it. Amber eventually gave us a number she claims belongs to the owner, but when we called. The text now subscriber you were trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. We realized it was a text app number, and five minutes later, Amber called us back on that same text app number. From there, we went to the owner's address that the city gave us. We knocked on the door. But no one answered, so it was back to the city. City officials said if the owner doesn't resolve the issues, they can take legal actions. But residents like Clarice would like to see something else happen. I think it needs to be boarded up. Or I think that the city needs to pay out his taxes and tear the house down. Now, one thing I want to reiterate that city officials told me is that if you have any issue relating to a red tag property here in Lansing, you're being asked to call the city of Lansing's code enforcement office at the number on the bottom of your screen. For now, reporting here in Lansing, I'm Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.